So I graduated high school three days ago on the 6th of December and looking back through my high school years, I wish that I had started some of the things that I now currently do so much earlier in high school. It would have literally changed my life if I did. But I was just too lazy or didn't even know like it existed or didn't even know it would help me in the long run and I just didn't do them. So this is for all the boys that are out there in high school or like you know in high school or about to start high school these are three things that you need to start doing as soon as you can while you are still in high school the number one thing and this is probably the most obvious thing is to start working out i started working out in february of this year so when i was 15 years old just in the beginning of year 10 and it has completely changed my life i have gained so much more confidence my attractiveness has increased and it's overall just been life-changing. It is something that I'm going to do for the rest of my life now. And I'm really sad that I did not start working out earlier. Like, I had the option to at the start of year 9, and I didn't. But honestly, I could have done it any time. I could have just done 40 push-ups every day since the beginning of year 7. Yet I, yet I didn't. I just didn't know that it would be so beneficial to me and it'd be so life-changing. I, I never had someone that told me that they should start working out as soon as you can. As soon as you hit those teenage years, as soon as you hit puberty, you should start working out immediately. But I never had someone telling me that. And I'm sure my, like the older audience, like you know people who are 18, 19 years old, who are actually in the gym working out, they probably can understand and they probably you know understand what I'm saying and like they also probably wish that they could have started working out earlier but it is genuinely life-changing if you're 13 14 years old and you haven't started working out yet this is the perfect chance because if you like you know there's people you know who start working out like 19 and they get like insanely jacked at like 22 23 years old you could be insanely jacked still in high school at 16 17 years old and that's going to put you ahead of 99% of the people. The number one thing that you need to start doing as soon as you start high school is working out. It will change your life. That could just be getting a gym membership and going to the gym or just doing at-home workouts like squats, push-ups, planks, sit-ups. Like the, the opportunities are endless. And as long as you do some physical activity as soon as you can, you're good. The second thing that you need to start doing as soon as you can or as, immediate, as soon as you watch this video while you're still in high school is to just talk to more people and increase your social skills. Now that we're increasing our physical, like, you know, attractiveness and physical skills, now we need to start focusing on social skills. I'm sure almost all of you guys who are, you know, past high school or maybe at the end of high school can relate to this. All of my high school years, every single one of them, I was a very awkward teenage boy. I didn't even know how to talk to people. I couldn't even hold eye contact with people. And I just never really talk to people like to the idea of talking to someone willingly uh, and uncomfortably was foreign to me like it was stupid to me I was like I would always think why would you willingly talk to someone why would you want to willingly increase your social skills and all you can do is just stay home and just be alone all the time the sooner you start to increase your social skills and like you know, and willingly push yourself out of your comfort zone to talk to people and increase your social skills is going to help so much as you go through your high school years and beyond high school as well. I started implementing this idea in around middle of this year, like around June, July of 2023, and I'm still working on it, bro. Like I'm, I still have not mastered the skill of the so the um, skill of talking to people and the skill of you know. Um, holding conversations like it's still very very hard for me but if i had started this in like year seven year eight i would have been dominating everyone by now because i would have been doing it for two three four years the sooner you start to increase your social skills and improve the way you talk to people and you know improve eye contact and everything that goes with social skills you are going to be ahead of everyone it is going to be you the sooner you started the better it is but if you start in like year seven, year eight, you're just going to be ahead of everyone. Like, because no one, like everyone in year seven and eight is playing video games and is just alone at home. No one is willingly talking to people and increasing their social skills at the age of 13. Just no one's doing it. If you do it and you keep doing it consistently, 
and you get to the point where like you're nine and ten you can confidently like go talk to a girl approach her and get a phone number you are just going to be ahead of every single person in your in your school guaranteed it's just a matter of discipline and actually learning um i guess learning the concept of improving your social skills earlier in life because i didn't i i mean you know 15 is still a really really early time to do it some people don't even do it in, in their 20s but if you do it at like 13 years old you are going to be ahead of everyone trust me and also when you are in year 10 and you you know you can see all the people in your youth group you can just pick out the people who started to improve the you know the social skills and even like you know fit um going to the gym you can just pick out the people who started doing that earlier like you can literally look at someone and be like yep this guy has not started um improving his social skills and he's literally never touched a gym equipment in his life but you can also just look at another guy and be like yep that guy's been going to the gym for two plus years and he has a girlfriend and he probably has been improving his you know con improving his social skills with girls for over a year now easily trust me it will pay off the third and final thing i will say for this video is to find your purpose in life Finding your purpose in life is incredibly hard. It is probably one of the hardest things to unearth and discover because there's so many distractions put into like, you know, into our world, like social media, video games, all this shit that's just distracting us. But if you want to find out your purpose, just kind of just like turn everything off. Like maybe while you're going to sleep, don't actually sleep or maybe just sit on your bed and just think about what you care about most in life. Think about what you love the most in life now obviously you can't be playing video games because obviously like that's just mindlessness like that's that's you know that's just anyone can do that but think about something that's really really deep to you that would mean a lot to you that would make you really proud like playing video games for 10 hours isn't going to make you proud think about something that will really make you proud think about something that you think is going to make you so proud that you look back on it years from now and be like thank god he chose to do that finding a purpose is a huge thing and i will make a separate video on it if you do want to watch that video on how to find your purpose, I will link it down below in the description when it is out. Until then, you should subscribe to my channel for more high school related videos and more advice for upcoming high schoolers, particularly boys.